This policy was described as Marxist and dangerous by your colleagues. Why are you now adopting a Labour policy? That was a different policy. That policy was Ed Miliband's policy to have a freeze on energy prices. It was even advertised by uh, having the, the words in an ice block. Uh, and the reason that was uh, damaging uh, was that actually, almost as soon as Ed Miliband gave that pledge, the price of gas internationally started to fall, so people would be paying more than they needed to. So what we are proposing uh, is that for people on the standard tariffs, the tariffs that you go on if you don't get a good deal, there should be a cap, there should be uh, a safeguard on how much the energy companies make you pay. And this comes out because the competition authority uh, has found that ordinary consumers are paying £1.4 billion a year more, and that's ranged from about £70 a year to £200 a year on people's bills, more than can be justified uh, because of the, the market power uh, of the big six energy companies. This is Tory interventionism in a free market. It goes against everything that your party stands for. No, Theresa May has always been clear that we want to see an economy that works for everyone and we will always stand up uh, for ordinary working people in this country. And when and it's been part of the tradition of the Conservative Party uh, for many years that uh, when you have markets, if you've got people with uh, with power that can be used against the little guy, then you stand up for them. And that is what we've done in the past and that's what we'll do now. The problem that you've got is that a cap won't stop prices going up. No, a cap will be set by the, the independent energy regulator. Um, as I say, the, the competition authority has said at the moment people are being overcharged by £1.4 billion pounds a year. So the regulator will reduce those bills that people have to pay. Uh, and these are people, you know, some of, it's a big part of people's household income, as your viewers will know. So they will get the benefit of that. So you're guaranteeing if, price reductions, is that what you're saying? What we're saying is that there's £1.4 billion pounds that the, the regulator, that the competition authority has uh, said is an overcharge. So the first thing will be to take that away. In the future, what the regulator will do is to look at the price of energy in the markets and make sure people pay a reasonable price for that, but not uh, an excessive amount.